Now to the future of space, like the Sea of Tranquility of Apollo 11, new regions of the moon are being considered for the next astronauts who will journey to the lunar surface. News 6's James Sparvero shows us NASA's latest plans for landing on the moon under that Artemis program. While the mission to land on the moon will come at least three years after the first launch of the space launch system, NASA is still hosting a teleconference to pinpoint where on the lunar surface astronauts could be landing for the first time in more than 50 years. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Apollo missions landed near the moon's equator. Now NASA says Artemis three astronauts will target one of 13 possible landing sites near the moon's south pole. Marking the first time a woman will walk on the moon. And also, we're using this experience to prepare for a trip to Mars. To land at the sites being considered, NASA says astronauts riding the Orion capsule will dock to the SpaceX Starship, with two of the astronauts going down in Starship to the lunar surface, followed by astronauts exploring and working on the landing site for six days. This is a new part of the moon. It's a place that we've never explored. It's a long way away from the Apollo site. So we are very excited, not only as a resource, but also from a science perspective. I feel like we're on a roller coaster that's about to pass the top of the largest hill. Buckle up, everyone. We're going for a ride to the moon here. NASA will discuss the Artemis program again on Monday, this time with a teleconference discussing the first launch, which is still currently scheduled for Monday morning, the 29th. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.